Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Moe aka Swedish Whiskey Girl and we're back today and I'm super excited and I always get so excited about Canadian whiskey probably because a lot of them um, incorporate green whiskey which I like and is quite sweet and uh, such a treat. We are gonna today have a look at Signal Hill which is a Canadian blended whiskey so it's at 40% ABV. But before we do, I'm just gonna say apologize for not releasing a video last week. I got COVID, but luckily enough, didn't affect my sense of smell or taste. So we're back to tasting and um, smelling whiskey, I was gonna say, which is good. I only had a bit of a, a, bit of a rough cold, um, but back on track now. And since we missed one last week, I'll release two next week as conversation. But yes. Signal Hill, it's named after a big hill, basically, that overlooks the city of St. John's, I believe, in Newfoundland. Um, and it's a national historic site, I think that's what it's called. Um, for example, there's been a few different historic events associated with the site. But, uh, for example, on the 12th of December in 1901, I think it was, it was the first wireless transatlantic transmission, did I say that right, um, that was received there, which is quite cool, if you ask me. Um, but yes, this whiskey is made from corn whiskey that has been column, column distilled and malt whiskey, which has been through, what's it called? Pot stills. So corn distillate and malt distillate that is blended together. It's been matured in three different types of oak. It's new American oak, it is ex-Canadian whiskey casks and first of all ex-bourbon. And just reading that to me <laughs> makes it sound yummy. What I really like about um, these types of Canadian whiskies is that they tell you exactly what the green whiskey is made of, so like corn. And I believe it's made from Canadian greens as well, which is Cool. But let's have a little nose and see if this is what I expect it to be or not at all. On the first nose, doesn't lose a point. <laughs> it's sweet. It's that vanilla ice cream. I know I talk about this and it's hard to relate to. It's there's an ice cream in Sweden called, oh, what is it called? Pudenspagere. Um, so it's made with this aroma and it's a mixture between vanilla ice cream and this aroma and that's exactly what I'm getting on the nose of this. I often get this aroma on green whiskies but also on rums that are made, like molasses rums. And I just love that. It's, it's um, the scent of nostalgia for me, that's why I love it so much and it's just that memory of buying these little, so the, the where I lived in the countryside there was a, an ice cream truck that came along and you could hear the little tune that it was playing and then you would go out and buy these and then they're like little cups and then you have to get a spoon and just eat out the cups and they're really great. Almost a bit of that kind of banana, artificial banana notes. But very desserty, almost like creme brulee as well. And also mixing in with um, like a floral grassiness that makes me think of summer. But let's have a little taste. Slangela. On the palette, it's almost exactly like what it is on the nose. It does have that kind of ice cream note that I've been talking about, which means that it has the nostalgia. And also, I don't know if you can hear it, but when I'm breathing, my throat is making noises <coughs> like that. 
Um, sorry about that. I don't know why. It seems like I just have a frog stuck in my throat or something. Seems to be gone now. Fine. Um, yeah, it, it has the things I really like in a whiskey like this. Like it, it's desserty. It's quite sweet. But it's like a, a summer evening dessert. Um, It's not overly woody, it's not overly bitter, it's very smooth. So if you're not super keen on sweet and smooth, this might not be for you. But, if you like sweets <laughs> and you just want a sweet treat, like... This is the adult version of that ice cream that I had when I was younger. I wonder what this would taste like next to the ice cream, because... I don't know, I think nostalgia is such a powerful feeling. If you get it in a whiskey, then it immediately just speaks or like hits you right in the heart, um, which I think is why I feel very drawn to whiskies like these. They've just unlocked that memory for me and because it's such a happy, warming memory, um, yeah, it just, it just makes me happy, these notes. This is why I could just sit and nose it forever. If you've had... I'm trying to remember, so the first time I got this note was actually in a rum from R9, I think, with SMWS. Um, and it's it was like this, but on like steroids, that note. So if you are a rum drinker, you might have gotten this note before. And if you aren't, <laughs> but if you've tried rum and you've tried whiskeys like these, do you agree? Do you know the notes I'm talking about? How would you describe it? Because I know I'm super niche with the kind of references I'm using. So I'd love to hear how you would describe that note. And of course, if you've tried Signal Hall or have any other recommendations for Canadian whiskies, please let me know. I feel like every time I try a Canadian whiskey, I'm just, it makes me super excited. And of course, I forgot to say, <laughs> uh, it retails around £30, so it's definitely a whiskey for my wallet as well. And I'd love to do a comparison one day between different Canadian whiskies that are similar in this sort of way. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on Signal Hill in the comment section here below. I thought it was smooth, desserty, also has that floral grassy note on the palate. It has a touch of a bitterness, which is like a... Um, dry wood, grassy bitterness, but it's very, very soft. I'm trying to look for like a raw alcohol note. Because sometimes when I get this excited about tones, um, I might not think about it as much. But I like the balance in it, I must say. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, please feel free to leave a like or subscribe if you haven't already. And I really hope to see you in the next video. Slangeva, skål!